You're watching The Curse of Oak Island in a Russian. We're recapping the Season 8 episode, Rock, Paper, Serpents. So what happened? As a new day dawns on Oak Island, the team starts with some core drilling at G5.5, which finds mud. You might be disappointed, but Marty finds it significant. And then we're back to the stone something in the swamp. They find mud, rocks, coal bits, ancient valuable pottery, which they continue to look for with Billy's excavator, and a metal something. No mention of last week's wharf, so I guess that's no longer significant? Random metal detecting in the area finds a coin, an old one, from 1919, and a metal spike with a hole in it. They claim it's a plumb bob used for building treasure shafts. I claim it's worthless junk with no significance whatsoever. Let's see who's right. And then it's time for a random war room theory. Remember the Mound of Rocks on Lot 15? It's now tied directly to the Serpent Mounds and the Serpent Worshippers from 3000 BC. And it's also tied to the Templars because they thought serpents were smart. And it's also tied to the Freemasons, because why not? The charcoal bits found there were dated to 1320 to 1440 AD, possibly, which somehow lends credence to Xena's thoroughly discredited map. I find it weird that no one stops to ask the question, why is the Lot 15 Serpent Mound not shaped like a serpent? Tune in next time when we learn the Serpent Mounds were built by a secret society of Templar boa constructors. I guess I should have appreciated the ox shoes more when I had them because now I don't have them, and now I have nothing. <sighs> Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, you can go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below, watch the old episodes, and I'll be back again next episode.